let's just say that you have a Wii, you got a Wiimote, uh, but it doesn't have a motion plus and you decided to, you know, uh, get something, but the only official motion controllers uh, actually cost the same with uh, uh, motion plus, the same as the uh, your whole Wii, including the controller, so uh, well, I'm not sure if that's the best business you can have, so would you decide to buy, buy something like this? I've got myself this set uh, to complement my original Wii remote, so this is completely new from China, it came also, oh I forgot, it this one came also with the silicon sleeve and everything, it had the strap, I removed all of that, I don't really like it, and I don't, you know, uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to hit my TV, <laughs> and, and I just want to compare those, so first, uh, fair warning, if you are looking to buy those, uh, with a motion plus, and use this with an emulator on a PC, don't. Uh, it, just check on the forums, I don't know, Twitter, anywhere, on Reddit, ask for a seller that have those working with our emulators, because from what I know, these won't work with our emulators. Also, the, the off-brand ones, the unofficial ones, will have some problems with the homebrew. And so that that could be a problem with, for you. So for example, if I uh, I think it was USB launcher GX, uh, when I connect this all uh, to my Wii, when I press up, it actually goes down. Or yeah, the, if I press right completely, it goes left. Uh, but if I press right gently, it goes right, and if I press top gently, it goes to, 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 the, to the top. So presumably there is some kind of problem with the calibration. I think these have the same analog sticks as the uh, Classic Controller Pro I reviewed that is also off-brand. Uh, so, and also it would be a little bit easier uh, if you take a look at the colors it, it is easy to notice I mean apart from the text here it is easy to notice that which one is the right one um, this isn't exactly true for those uh, for those nunchucks but uh, you can compare the cables easily so this cable is again stiff just like on the classic controller I reviewed this is a very pleasant one um, so thank you, taking a quick look at what we have here, so uh, that click of the power button is exactly mostly the same. That's all, this one is a little bit noisier. Exactly the same goes for these buttons here. So the, this is this is also the same. Uh, this a little bit no noisier than here, and that's basically all. They feel exactly the same about the buttons themselves. You probably can hear this. Uh, this feels uh, that it has a little bit more travel than this one. Also, it's a little bit more clickety. Not sure if, you know, a little bit on the loose on the plastic. It doesn't feel as well as the official ones. Same goes for the one and two buttons. Uh, it's exactly the same. A little bit more travel and they are a bit more clickety. Just like the the off-brand controller, the, the classic controller pro, I, I, I had take a look before. Uh, the D-pad, this is a lot better D-pad than on the on the classic controller. It's a little bit closer. Uh, there is a difference in the travel, but overall the feel, you know, you won't be able, if, if I will do a blind test, I won't be able to tell exactly. Apart from the fact that this feels a little bit more, uh, let's say, dual. <laughs> I'm not sure if, if that if you know what I mean, uh, the travel isn't as great as here. It, 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 you know, the feel isn't as pleasant. So that's the main difference. But overall, they they are pretty much the same. Uh, they have the same setup. Even the logo is in, is in in the same place. The holes here are very similar. It even what? <laughs> it even says that this is an. RVL003, which this, if that would be a motion plus, that would be official motion plus, that's not its number. Uh, so, yeah. But overall, it has motion plus, it has, oh yeah, and those LEDs, they, they are really bright. 
I mean, these are pleasantly dim, even if a uh, dark room, but these, this, this will burn your eyes out. Uh, also the speakers, this is a little bit more pleasant, even though we uh, remote speaker isn't really great. That's that's a little bit, uh, you know, you, you can hear that quality, So, but fortunately you can mute, do, mute those in the settings. Um, and uh, the games rarely use those. I tested both of them and allow me to show you uh, on the Wii menu uh, what is the difference because they, they do have IR camera so what is the difference here uh, when you move them together and what was there basically how, how they perceive uh, the IR sensor. The unofficial one is a lot more sensitive and I think they basically uh, the main problem here is, and people basically said in, in some of the reviews of them, they, the, the unofficial don't, don't work for them. What you have to do is stand a meter further away or something like that, three feet, uh, to have the same effect like the official one. So that's a little bit weird, but that, that's what you get. So you have a little bit, have to have a little bit more space to play with this one. So that that's that could be a challenge if you have a really small room uh, with your Wii. Um, uh, other than that, uh, the nunchuck, the analog sticks again. Uh, the the difference is that it is exactly I think exactly the same analog stick like of, on the uh, Classic Controller Pro. So it requires a little bit more force uh, to work, and this is a really pleasant one and. Uh, the C button actually it it is hard to say exactly which is which and uh, th this has a little bit more trouble and it's a little bit clickety so a little bit worse what uh, worse quality but overall they are pretty similar and for the price which was I think fifteen dollars for the set whole set I mean uh, to be shipped from China it's it's actually pretty good for a new piece of hardware. Let's uh, disassemble this and take a look inside. Obviously uh, the official one have tri-wing screws, the unofficial one, uh, let me take a peek quickly because I'm actually not exactly that certain. No, the, these are standard Phillips screws. And one more thing, these are 10 grams lighter, both the, uh, including the batteries, uh, both the remote and the nunchuck. So, uh, when you handle them, you will actually feel the difference. Uh, you may want to add some some kind of metal inside to, to make this a little bit uh, heavier. Uh, and here too, uh, if you if, if that's annoying for you. But in general, uh, after some time, you won't feel a difference. I unscrew those. Let me try and work around the official one to have a bit of look inside. So here's the official one. And here's the unofficial one. I had to click that off. And let me gently remove the board from here. Okay, so that's gone. And what do we have here? On, on the other side, there isn't anything specific. They are roughly the same if you take a look here. The molds, yeah, that they, they are a little bit different, but not that much. If you had no idea which is which, it would be kind of hard to, uh, to say exactly, but the color is off and there isn't any branding. Uh, so let's take a look. So here on the official one, we have a nicely built camera, the main button, the vibromotor, the connections, uh, some, some stabilization capacitors and the buttons on the other side including the speaker that is connecting with, with those spring pins and the rubbers. Uh, so, and that's that's what we have here, and on the unofficial one, yeah, it, it doesn't look as great, but in general, it, it is the same concept, but the speaker is glued in from what I can see, so you cannot remove this without uh, desoldering. Uh, the, the contacts here, well, they are not great, they are not uh, with the carbonized, let's say, uh, and it has a huge plate of the let's say this, I think that's silicon, so this is very similar to what we have in the uh, Classic Controller Pro, so that's what you have, So, but it is very close to each other, so they really, really took a deep look 
and what Nintendo has in their official controller. And looking here, I will probably put a little bit of tape on part of those uh, LEDs to make them dimmer. That's that is exactly the same on the official controller. So you just remove the clip on the side. And I think that's the same place where they were. Here is the antenna on the on the board, which is quite interesting. It doesn't have any specific, uh, you know, place where it, the, the the motion controls are. I I would venture to guess that's this chip, but you know, uh, it it has several uh, more chips for that. And this this actually looks very populated. And here it's almost barren the the, the board here, and um, there is also a place for chip here, and that there is some information on the on the camera pinout uh, over here it has a blob here a blob on a chip and it oh the board is from 2020 uh that's june i think 26th well that's, so that's quite new to be honest so that, that that's I, I didn't expect that i was hoping that i would be able to you know adjust the zoom basically on this uh, camera to make sure that you know so it would have the same reach so the same sensitivity as the official one but that's not possible I think unfortunately uh, it is possible though uh, that there is some somehow you can set this up but I think that it's that this blob on the chip takes care takes, takes care of absolutely everything here so it, it is a very simplified board and this is very impressive how they copy this so pre that so precisely so and uh, they even have this matter uh, that daughter board here connected directly they have the same setup of those pins this is yeah that's an impressive work uh, of copying the contents of of exactly what we have here but then again keep in mind this isn't perfectly compatible for with homebrew stuff and with the emulator if you pair this with uh uh, your PC so you, you should look for a specific uh, you know version of this uh, remote that works exactly with a with a PC or get an official one if you can of course let's take a look at the nunchuck here is the official one it may take a little bit of figuring it out how to separate those parts but because they are clicked together and let me remove this and now let's take a look at them on official one it's actually quite well built for that type of, of unofficial controller and yeah let let me pull this off and here we have the comparison so it, it is built almost exactly in the same with the same principles in mind so so the the, the main uh, analog stick here let me remove that so here you have that. It it doesn't have a click, and uh, it only has two buttons. So, and this is kind of loose. Uh, I'm not sure if it's meant to be loose, but I think that fits uh, a little bit in this part, so it, it will stay in place. And this isn't a loose at all. Uh, I'm not sure if I can. Yeah, I can remove this analog stick. And looking at this, they they try their best to copy the design exactly, but. What I noticed that it, this is, yeah, that that's also a daughter board here, but uh, I think that this unofficial one, I'm not sure about its capability to have, uh, oh, here we have it. So that's the accelerometer here. I think that's chip, the tiny little chip here. The nunchuck also has the accelerometer in place, even went with a similar type of connector so instead of those three cables they they have a ribbon here all of this is a little bit wonky this is very precise and the comfort of those uh, those clicks is quite a bit different one last thing that I just have to check as a part of this comparison uh, what is the standby current here so firstly I started with the official one so it's roughly half milliamp if I press a button, so so the LED flashes and it tries to connect, so it, yeah, but it, it, it reaches 20, but drops to roughly half a milliamp here. So that is, well, it should be pretty good, so it can easily lie somewhere in the drawer. 
uh, for quite some time uh, but I would uh, take the batteries out if you plan to you know store the, uh, the Wii somewhere uh, and here's the unofficial one and that would be uh, quite interesting because you know that the unofficial ones often have quite a quite a big standby current so if it's looking for a device it's, it's quite high 140 but it quickly drops oh that that's really impressive so it's a quarter right of the official one but when it looks for a device it's 140 milliamps so you know the the, the difference is um, really major so the standby current here is it's great actually uh, but when the LEDs maybe that's because of how bright those LEDs are as you can see I put a tape inside to make them a little bit dim but the standby current great the working current awful uh, so <laughs> there you have it uh, but still I would just if you plan to store these for I don't know two months three months or more I would remove the batteries just in case uh, this official one had a horrible leak uh, when I got it, so that's always a better idea to remove this butter the batteries just in case they would leak. There you have it. This actually has Motion Plus. I tested it with the uh, was it Wii Sports Resort, and it, it works quite well. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, that people were complaining, but I think that's due to sensitivity. But apart from that, it's really impressive how, how they copied the design of the official one, even though, you know, it is all branded and so on, but uh, and a little bit dull for, but for, you know, second player controller, it's perfectly fine. Since the official one, at least where I live, it's really expensive. I hope you enjoyed for now. We won't have any Wii content, uh, but uh, I will think of something else maybe. So see you guys next time.